everyone, I'm Ellie and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am doing a haul with a difference. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm putting in my Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Um, so I'm doing a shoe box for a little boy between the ages of five and nine and then the same uh, between five and nine for a little girl. Uh, so I thought I'd show you what I picked up and put in my boxes uh, and I'm really excited about this. <laughs> I used to do this as I was uh, a child and I remember I really enjoyed uh, helping a child in need somewhere else in the world so if you don't know much about Operation Christmas Child I will leave a link to their website below uh, but basically these boxes will go off to a child in need somewhere in the world and um, so I'm really happy to, to give back um, to a little child somewhere or two children yay <laughs> So let's get started, I um, don't know whether to do the boy or the girl first, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's dig in with what's in my boy box. Uh, so I found these boxes, um, happen to have them at home and they have these latches which I really like because then the box is like a, a gift in itself, it will keep everything dry and, and be an easy place uh, for the kid to store things afterwards. Um, you can do, a, you can wrap up a cardboard box, an actual shoe box. Um, but I just wanted to do plastic. So first thing I have is a notebook. Some, you know, I picked up this at the dollar store. So they've got a notebook so they can go to school and write in there. And then I'm gonna show you what's in my box. I guess it looks a little bit better if I show you this way around, but it's so exciting. <laughs> so the big thing uh, the first you see is this little teddy bear. And again, I picked pretty much all my items up at the dollar store. Um, so this little bear, was calling to me to this little boy um, and I actually got a little bear for the girl as well which we'll see me open in a minute but a teddy bear it's like my wow gift you have to have a, a wow gift something's a little bit bigger um, next thing I have is this little bag um, and it has a zipper on it so you can you know the little boy can pack his school supplies in there or do whatever he wants to do um, put in there uh, the next thing I have is this little hairbrush with a mirror on it. Um, it pops out, so that would be really useful. So it's nice to put a nice mix of personal care items and toys. Uh, I saw this truck, uh, this big monster truck, thought he'd enjoy that. I'm going to have a nightmare packing, repacking this. It took me forever to pack it all in, but it's alright. I'm showing you guys what's in here. Some beads for them to just, you know, enjoy. Let me exciting and share them around. I put three in there for this little boy so he can put them on himself or whatever if he's got a big sister or mum or whoever uh, might be able to share them around. Uh, a glow-in-the-dark yo-yo, um, some band-aids, uh, plasters as we, I say in England but I'm actually I should say I'm doing this from the US um, so this is I'm, I used to do it as a little girl in uh, England but I'm doing this from the US um, and I'm, my collection point is Hobby Lobby, so I just basically do my boxes, fill out the registration online and then drop these off um, at Hobby Lobby and I believe it's the 12th to the 19th of November here in the US that is a drop off um, week, you just drop them off. So yeah, some plasters, some band-aids, um, a chapstick and I actually, I got these in um, they came in big packaging and I kept all the packaging I to show you. <laughs> I should have said this earlier on really, but I took out as much as I could. Look at all that space I've saved from just packaging for certain toys um, and those is what the band-aids would come in. So I just took them out and put them in a nice Ziploc um, bag so that they will stay dry and, and it's got a place to keep them in as well. Um, so. Keep going, what have we got? A nice bouncy ball, um, some pencils, and some pens. Um, some, a flashlight, you can see that, woo! <laughs> and some extra batteries in there. And I did wrap some of the uh, items in here with a hair tie to keep them nice and bound, but then I thought, you know, hair ties can be useful for the little boy to you know keep his pencils together whatever else he could give them to a, a family member or not but um, a game of checkers is the next thing I have um, some little dinosaur toys again I took these are all brand new I just took them out of the packaging so that I could fit as much as possible in my box um, 
and packing it is it's a bit of a challenge <laughs> uh, the next thing I have is a skipping rope and two brand new toothbrushes uh, I got those from the dot I got pretty much all of this from the dollar store um, a sharpener uh, and actually has an eraser on here as well uh, so it can he can sharpen his pencils and make you know about whatever he needs to a glue stick uh, some wax colouring crayons uh, this looked really fun a mini Jenga I did keep this in its packaging so it's got somewhere to keep it or he's got somewhere to keep it and store it nicely but mini Jenga how fun is that <laughs> uh, a mini etch-a-sketch um, draw a smiley face on there <laughs> uh, but it you basically you can swipe it clean which I thought was kind of fun uh, and then you can draw on there and and these little lip things, which I don't know if you ever played with these as a child, but they make kind of fun noises. Um, a washcloth. And some Lego. And this was dollar store Lego, and I actually bought a base plate for the Lego to go on as well. Um, so that should be fun. And two more little notepads for him to, you know, take to school and draw on. Um, a fun pen that did you ever have these as a kid? I did. You can slide down the different colours and the, and you know it's just one pen that has all these different colours on it so that's kind of fun. Um, three bars of soap and I did put mine in two Ziploc baggies so that the whole box hopefully doesn't smell of soap. Um, a One of these, uh, what do you call it, uh, face cloths that expands when you put it in, get it wet when you put it in water and it's Olaf themed so I had to have that one. I got the same one for the little girl I think. Uh, this is kind of random but a shower curtain. I, uh, the reason I'm making this video is that I really enjoyed watching other people and what they put in their Christmas boxes um, and one thing I saw was somebody put a shower curtain in and some of these um, boxes go to people that or little kids that don't you know they live in a mud hut they don't have anywhere they can sit and they'll use something like a shower curtain they'll lay it on the floor and they'll sit down on the shower curtain and that really touched me so I, I saw these in the dollar store and I had to pick one up um, for this little boy uh, I picked up a spoon and a, a fork just utensils and a harmonica another thing I read about was that one time there was a little village and out of all the boxes there was one box that had a harmonica in it and that box happened to go to a little blind boy and out of all the boxes his got the harmonica in it and it was something that he just loved and was able to really use um, so that really touched me so they had to have harmonicas in it <laughs> and then the last thing in the box is um, some colouring uh, felt tip pens um, as well so that's everything in the little boy box uh, let's do the little girl now some things are the same um, so I'll just quickly put this make myself a bit of room uh, because the stuff is everywhere but yeah let's get into the little girl box um, so the little girl box again for a five to nine year old uh, we have a notebook uh, again from the dollar store you can draw things up. This is uh, the little bear that I picked for the girl. Um, I didn't want to put, I saw some people put dolls in there, I think that was really nice, but I just felt like the bear would, would squish down a little bit more and I could get more in the box if I picked the bear and he's really cuddly and I would pick him um, if I was a little girl. Um, so I'm hoping she'll love, she'll love that. Uh, another one of these plastic, well not plastic, the uh, fabric bags for her to store things in. Um, another one of these Jenga box, Jenga towers, uh, again kept that one in its packaging so that uh, she could have somewhere to store it. Another glue stick, um, more soap, and getting on to the fun stuff. <laughs> I found these beads and I just have to put them in. She can make um, necklaces, um, bracelets, and maybe she can sell them, maybe she can give them to friends or just enjoy them herself. Um, I have ordered one more item to go in this box which is some stretchy, uh, what's it called, magic, what's it called, magic, uh, 
here's some that is I have that's old <laughs> magic stretch magic um, so I ordered some of this off of Amazon to put brand new in the box for her um, but this is I've kept this out I used to make jewelry myself so I think she'll enjoy doing that um, I have some horses um, for her to play with again I took all the packaging off so that we can squeeze more stuff in here uh, a big bouncy ball and some hair clips I kept those on there so she's got somewhere to store them on the cardboard um, got pretty creative with my packing here but I have a really cute mini uh, hairbrush <laughs> and then there's a slinky um, and then there is a little flashlight again so she's got a flashlight too uh, and some extra batteries in there as well um, and then I have some hair some new hair ties and a couple of hair clips and a, and a chapstick in there for her to you know have those kind of personal care items again two toothbrushes dollar store um, another skipping rope another one of these cool pens that has all the funky colors um, more pencils, more pens, more beads for her to enjoy, <laughs> more wax crayons, you know, like I was saying, a lot of this is kind of the same, um, another harmonica, um, two notebooks, this time I got this little puppet uh, face cloth for her, little froggy, <laughs> um, nearly there, more utensils for her, an expandable face cloth, um, those lip things that make a fun noise, another one of these extra sketches, more band-aids, hers were Barbie themed I think. <laughs> um, I got her, I know I got her the mini hairbrush um, but I did get her one of these that had a mirror on it because I felt like you know it'd be nice to have a mirror and she can share them out with whoever or do what she wants to do with those. Another pair of this lip. Um, pencil sharpener, eraser, shower curtain, and the last thing again is these pens. So that is absolutely everything that um, is in my two Christmas child uh, boxes. Um, again, I'll leave the links below. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I've put in my boxes. Um, I'm so excited for these little kids to get these boxes and it's just such a great cause. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. And here is everything that was in my boxes. Look at the mess I've made. <laughs> now I've got to repack them all. Woohoo!